What's up guys, we're back with another episode. This week I'm gonna give you a full build breakdown on my sim setup. seen them on the internet we're all doing it off-road NASCAR dirt oval guys everyone's hopping on sims because we can't take not racing so if you want to learn a little bit about it let's go check this thing out so let's fire this thing up and then as it's firing up I'll kind of walk you through it's all fancy it's got lights and whatnot First, let's check out the brains of this thing. It's got an HP Omen uh, gaming computer. Uh, just a quick thing, I have never gamed or anything before in my life, so be patient with me because I literally have no clue what's going on with a lot of this stuff. <laughs> I know it has a Intel i7 core, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a GeForce RTX 270, 512 of solid state. I know this thing rips, that's all that matters. Um, a friend of mine helped me build it. A lot of that stuff I don't know what it means, but it's got really cool lights like this one. <laughs> And this one. So I went with a triple monitor. Um, I wanted to be pretty like realistic and based off what I read online, a lot of people like the triple monitors. It's kind of cool because you can see out the windows and you can kind of see when people are next to you like you would actually get in a race car. But these are just ViewSonic 27 inch monitors. Um, they have 144 refresh rate. It took me a little to figure out how to get them paired but once I got them paired it's pretty dialed and the in-car view is pretty sweet, so in a sec we'll jump in and kind of show you what I can see from my perspective. Now the fun part of it. The steering wheel, the shifter, the pedal. So I just went on Fanatec and bought a Club Sport 2.5 package. The shifter's pretty rad, so right now it's in sequential mode. So as you can see, it just goes forward and back. A quick switch and it turns into a H pattern. It's actually pretty cool like to go into reverse, like in a real car, you gotta push down. It's pretty crazy how realistic it is. When this thing is on, the feedback is pretty incredible. Like it, it fights you. Like I actually had to turn it down because I was, I was like, this is like too strong, like compared to my real car. But the pedals are pretty rad. Um, they do have this little motor here, so you get a little bit of feedback, like vibrations and stuff, gives you a little bit more of a feeling. But it's cool, you can adjust, they have different springs and whatnot, you can adjust um, how much pressure, and then the, the brake pedal actually has like, a, it's pretty darn firm and you can actually tighten it up. And then the clutch is pretty darn realistic too, it's got a spring and somehow they got it figured out, so you know a clutch is kind of hard to engage at first and then it kind of breaks loose. It's got that feeling. It's definitely a little more expensive than most people want to spend, but it's definitely not as crazy as they can get. I mean, you can see people spending $50,000 on a sim. Moving kind of the whole the whole thing, the stand. Um, we built it in-house here. My crew chief, Jimmy Davison, he hopped on board and was expecting a super just kind of simple thing and he went all out. So we kind of built this little mini race car. It's built like a real race car in some ways. This is actually my race seat out of my <laughs> Pro Light. I just got a new one. I got a lot of laughs in this thing. Unfortunately, I think I'm a little too familiar with this thing. <laughs> It kind of makes it really feel real but that's kind of a build breakdown of what I got if you guys have any questions I'm gonna put all the links to what I have and let me know what you think we tried to just give you kind of a full build breakdown I've been getting so many questions on this thing and it's rad to see how many people are interested because this is I mean you can come race with the pros let me show you a little of what it kind of like to run I'm gonna call up a few of my buddies see if we can get a little race going um, let's actually call up Elliot Watson my uh, talent teammate and see if he's on right now what are you doing? I'm doing homework, what's up? You wanna play a few laps in the sim? Um, no, I'll talk till 2.30, my parents just left, let's see a few laps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Now we gotta fire up the steering wheel. The force is with you, young Skywalker. Alright, so, got Elliot on the phone right here. So we're gonna race Wild Horse Motorsports Park, which is where we race in Arizona. Um, it's actually our first race of the year, so if this corona thing stops, this is my next actual race we're gonna do. And it's crazy how realistic it is. Like, here, I'll give you a little preview. We're gonna practice that before we hop in with Elliot. Oh my god. I wonder what setup I have. One pretty rad thing on here is you can set up the trucks. You can change the suspension, like, you can go through and, like, 
it's pretty cool. You can go through and do all kinds of new things. So, so in my real race truck, I have three pedals. So it, on my sim, I just turned my clutch into a rear wheel only. Uh, you can go through in the settings and do it. So it kind of works out perfect. Pretty darn similar to like what I actually run. got like one practice slap in uh, we're gonna hop in Elliot's right here I'm just waiting for him and we're gonna start getting a little racy She's done. We smoked the wall on the entry of three. That's where it all went bad. That's the problem. That's thing you have zero fear, so I just send it. So as realistic as this thing is, it's still pretty fun being able to just go in, take out your buddy, whatnot, go for a nice roll. Then just get out and uh, not even feel it the next day. <laughs> Normally, you know, even every time I crash this thing, I start to tense up, like expecting just, cause you're like, you get so into it and it's becoming realistic and then you hit a wall and you're like, oh, and then it doesn't hit. And you're like, oh, that was kind of nice. And you know, real life, you got that fact. When you hit a wall, you hit a wall, it hurts. Like I can show you kind of real life came in here. Ronnie got into me, I got loose. Smoke this and then this. And then right here, I came to a stop like this and they got hit. Going like 70 mile an hour in another car, so. And then another car hit me. But look, that just happened and I'm like, wow, that was kind of nice. Might have to go grab a snack. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap on the sim video. Let me know if you have any more questions and what you thought. Um, also, I'm thinking about streaming like once a week, so let me know if you guys would watch that. Just me messing around with my buddies, hitting some like smaller races. And uh, make sure you uh, like below, comment, hit that bell, or and subscribe.